I'm Megan Hepner, creative editor for Creating Keepsakes magazine, and I want to talk to you a little bit about eyelets. This supply has been around for centuries, but more in the, it started more in the sewing industry, and now it has uh, moved into paper crafting and scrapbooking. You can buy eyelets at the scrapbook store in packages like this. Sometimes you buy them in um, sets of all one color, so maybe you're making a set of baby announcements or something and you need one color specifically, or maybe you want a variety pack. In that case, you can buy them in assorted colors. Also, in addition to assortments in color, they come in assorted sizes. So you can get all the way from the bitty, bitty ones up to the big, big ones like this. These are actually called grommets. They are a type of eyelet. And as you can see, you can really do some fun things with this size, even frame tiny photos if you wanted to. So let's look at three ways to use eyelets in your scrapbooking. Before we get to pages, I want to give you the kind of the rundown on how to actually set an eyelet. It's very simple. You do want to have an eyelet setting tool. Uh, there are a few different products on the market. I'm going to use the Crop It Eyelets from We Are Memory Keepers. And it's a two for one thing because you do need to punch a hole when you set an eyelet unless you have a tag like I have here where there's already a hole in place. But usually if you're just using it on your scrapbook page, you'll want to punch a hole first. And this tool does that with these hole guys at the tops, top and bottom. Don't be confused. Sometimes people think that's the hole punch. I've done that before. It's not. That's actually your eyelet setter. So after you've punched your hole, you'll set the eyelet using this part of the tool. So you grab your eyelet and your hole punched paper and you're going to put your eyelet in the hole, decorative side up. I guess that's sort of obvious because you want it showing on your project, huh? So you have it like that and that's not done. We do need to set it and hold it in place. To do that, we're going to use the eyelet setting part of this tool and you're going to turn it upside down and get the, the long part or the male end of the setter and stick that in your eyelet and then you simply just give it a squeeze. It's as simple as that and then when you take it out, your eyelet is there to stay. Very easy. So now that you know the gist, the basics, let's go ahead and look at some ways to use eyelets and techniques to make those pages really stand out. The first one is by Kim Jackson and you can see that she has paired her eyelets around her photograph here with ribbon and she cut a photo frame from a scrap of paper and by just sprinkling her eyelets around where the ribbon isn't, it fills in that space nicely and also creates movement around her photo. And I don't know about you, but when I look at this layout, the first thing I do is look at the photograph, which is usually what you want with your, your scrapbook pages. So it's a great way to make a photograph stand out on your page. There's one idea. Oh, and it's wonderful for your scraps. Just a few leftover bits of ribbon. So that's always a plus. The next idea is by Kelly Perky. She has a couple actually. She, got real creative with the eyelets. The first one is with her title, and these are actually chipboard letters, so um, you'll want a hole punch, in this case, if you're going to set eyelets on a title, that'll go through your letter. Uh, the We Are Memory Keepers crop it out works wonderfully with that, so no worries about getting your holes in your letters. And then she just set eyelets in different parts of each letter to really, again, move the eye through the word vacation. She also used eyelets in her journaling, which I love if you're going to do a bulleted list. I find myself journaling that way a lot. And rather than just draw or type a bullet, you can set an eyelet where a bullet would go and then write your list. With this and her words, she did use dimensional adhesive. So the eyelets do make it so your paper may not lay as flat. They're pretty flat, but not completely smooth. So sometimes if you find your thing will not lay flat on your project, just get a little foam square or something and your problem is solved. So there's that. The last idea I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration for, this is by Susan Weinroth. And again, she, like Kelly, did a few ideas of, with eyelets on the page. The first down here in the waves, she just added a little bit more texture. Eyelets do bring out a little depth and texture to projects, so that's great. Um, and set uh, monochromatic eyelets on her different blues. And then here with the sun, she really created a focal point and a fun accent for this project. What you can do to do this is you want to start with some kind of sun accent. You can either buy a pre-made element or die cut one, which is what we've done here. Um, this is just die cut from cardstock. And then with your rays, you can see on the finished project the eyelets have been set in the rays of the sun. So what you'll do is take a pen or pencil and you're going to want to mark where you want your eyelets to be set. So you'll just kind of draw a dot on your ray in each spot where you want an eyelet. So on the longer rays, um, Susan has set three. 
On the short, short ones, you can see we just have one, and then on the middle, we'll do two. With your dots in place, go ahead and grab your hole punch, and you're going to punch where those dots are. You're going to punch those out. If you're using the crocodile and you haven't used this before, it does have two different hole punch sizes, a smaller and a larger. So if you're using larger eyelets, that's really nice to use the larger size. In this case, these are just average, so I'm going to use the regular or the smaller of the two punches. And then you're going to go ahead and, looking through the hole, find your dot and go ahead and punch that out. You'll do that all the way around the sun until all of your holes are punched. And then you can start using the techniques we just saw on how to set an eyelet. Just fill in those holes and set your eyelets. This one we've started here, so you can see what happens once the holes are punched and the eyelets are set. You got that good. Once your whole sun has been set, you can just leave it like that, and that looks awesome, and it does kind of add a shine, and you want your sun to shine. Or if you want to take it one more level up, step it up again, go ahead and grab some fibers, some ribbon or twine or floss, and we'll go ahead and thread that through some of your eyelets. If you're having trouble getting a thicker thing like a ribbon through a smaller hole like an eyelet, you can either use a, ne a sewing needle or you can take your sharp scissors and your ribbon and just make sure you cut your ribbon to a really fine point. And that will just make it a little bit easier to get that ribbon through the hole. Once you have your ribbon cut and you're ready to thread, you're going to go ahead and just starting from the back side of the sun, pull it through one and then down the next and then you'll pull it tight. Since this is just paper we're um, using, you'll want to make sure you pull delicately so you don't tear your sun ray. After all that work, that'd be frustrating, so pull gently, and then you can trim off any excess ribbon on the back. And just use a little spot of glue to glue that down like that. And then go on to the next one. You're going to notice that even though we have three eyelets set on the sunray, we're only working with two as far as threading goes because we have an odd number. So if you look at Susan's finished project, on the rays with three, there's just one eyelet that stands alone at the end and the threading's done in the other two. On the rays with two, it's just filled in, it fills the entire ray. And then with one eyelet, of course, it'll just sit alone as an eyelet. So it's a really fun way to use up your scraps again whether it's ribbon, twine, floss, whatever, um, and add texture, the eyelets certainly have it as far as making an impact on your scrapbook pages.